Okay, I just wanted to uh, talk about checking a um, communicating blower motor. We have, this system is the communicating infinity carrier system, and we have a control board that talks to our blower motor. And uh, when the blower motor doesn't talk back, we get an error code. Uh, we're flashing 44 on the board here. Um, our control panel inside is reading error code 44. So we have the um, likely issue of a failed module since that's more common, possible issue of a failed board. And um, I'm going to help you identify which is which. You can play the guessing game of grabbing the module and putting it in and then finding out that we still have an issue or you can actually find out how much voltage this board is supposed to send to the module and uh, confirm that the board is actually doing its job. Get the right part the first time. So here we go. First thing you want to um, confirm is that your blower motor is actually getting high voltage. So uh, you should have 240 coming in to your blower motor. So let's check that. Okay, I got 240 making it to the motor. All right, so the next thing we want to make sure is that our motor is receiving the proper voltage, uh, control voltage. Now, this is a DC voltage that gets sent out, um, and that's a you know, similar trend with like a train communicating systems or Goodman communicating systems, whatever it is, you're gonna have a DC voltage. It may vary. So actually calling tech support and finding out what the proper voltage should be for this uh, type of system is gonna be important. So right here we have our common, which is our green, and then our power on red. And so between green and red, we should have about 12 to 13 volts DC. So let's go ahead and switch our meter. DC and check. Now I like to do it at the plug at the blower because that lets me know that the voltage has made it all the way through the harness to the blower. So this is my preferred way of checking this. So you can see we have 12.6 DC. This is right on target. I should have between like 12 and 14. 14 would be a little bit high, but um, that is my power voltage, powering the module controls, which is power from the board. And then I should have between my common, which is green and yellow, about five volts. So let's see what we got here. Okay, and I'm not getting that. So right now I have 1.6. And I should have between three and five. So that lets me know that my board is actually not sending out the proper communication voltage. And so I could have replaced this module and then been stuck um, realizing that I should have grabbed the board instead. So this is why this test is important. The minus symbol is because I don't have my black lead on common. Um, but that's not important as long as you realize what's going on there. But let me just demonstrate that. If your black lead's on common, because it's not alternating current to direct current, 1.6, it'll still show you. We'll see minus, but you get the you get the point there. I hope. Well, there we go. Saved ourselves an extra trip. Now we know uh, we need to grab a board here. Let's do that. What are we waiting for? All right. As a finish, just going to show you what the board actually should be reading. The new board is sending out uh, 4.9 uh, between yellow and green whereas before we had like 1.6 and then also let's check 4 volts 12.6 so we have the proper um voltage coming in and the and the actual call to run and there's our call and then if the modules failed um then it's not going to be sending voltage back on blue to communicate to the board there you go thanks for watching our video if you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing, 
You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.